Hey everyone, so we are back in the States now. It's been almost a week and we are adjusting back to our summer schedule, also the time zone, fighting through jet lag. Just wanted to quickly check in and tell you guys that we have a couple more videos from our Korea trip that we wanted to share with you. We are in the process of editing and uh, we'll be posting them and sharing them in the next few weeks. For this video, we want to share our favorite meals from Korea. Mine was at a restaurant called Gangmaul Taramji, which translates to River Village Squirrel. And Ken's was at the Kuri Fish Market. So we'll share footage here of those two experiences. Yeah. Yeah, your restaurant, your favorite restaurant was, I thought it was called Acorn Village. Yeah, I kept calling it that. Oh, no. no. <laughs> but it, like, it was just acorns. <laughs> oh, but the main ingredient was acorns. Which is really interesting. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. We should say that that's that was what that's what the restaurant is known for. It has several dishes that incorporate acorn and acorn powder. In yeah. All of it. it is so good. <laughs> we also have some foot extra footage from uh, the last meal we had in Korea before we uh, boarded, and it totally caught me off guard or totally surprised us because I think it was actually. One of the best meals that we had there in Korea. It was incredible. Uh, it was your a spot that your parents really liked, and they took us there. Um, it's in Kuri. It's a place called Ta In, and we went there on our way to the airport. Essentially, that day we were leaving. We were super impressed by the creativity, the way that they had a seasonal themed menu, the presentation. The taste. Yeah, it was like a twelve-course meal. The abundance. Right? Yeah, it was, it was, and it was so good. Yeah, and the I, I think what caught, what stood out for me too was the price point. Mm -hmm. I think it was like less than thirty U.S. dollars, and it was just an amazing, fantastic meal. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll also be sharing footage from that as well. That will wrap up this video, and I hope you guys have been enjoying following along with our journey, our trip to Korea with kids. It's been really um, fun making them. Yeah, right? I think they're just like a modern version of home videos that you have in like the 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you guys have been liking them, please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, and yeah, appreciate you guys watching. All right, bye. Bye. We're here at... Kangmal Taramji here. Oh, look at this squirrel right there. I'm really going with the squirrel theme. favorite features of restaurants in Korea. How they have a drawer at the table for utensils and napkins. I'm trying to figure out how to um, fill this. This is the bite that I've been wanting to have. Mm. 
so good. There's like the chili crunch in here. Yeah. It was really good. The chili crunch in here makes it so good. Hello, so we are at the tail end of our trip in Korea. We only have a few more days left. Um, it's been very rainy, hot, humid, but we've got some good breeze due to monsoon season coming. So I think on day two, we went to Noringjin, Noringjin Fish Market and had a great time. And I definitely wanted to go back to uh, a fish market to get some more of the seafood. And my abonim, my father-in-law, noted that there is a fish market near near Giri or Hiri, which is where we're staying at. So we are on our way to the Giri Yuri. Guri. Guri. Uh seafood market or fish market to eat a family dinner. And I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we made it. We're in the parking garage. It's an outdoor parking garage. And one thing about Korea, I don't know if I've talked about this yet in the video, but the parking garages, they're so clean. Like this is an outdoor parking garage and there's, I don't know if you can see, there's like no trash on the floor, no gas leaking, no water, no liquids. It's incredible how clean these parking garages are. And the ones at the shopping mall, it's like you can like, sit on the floor and not feel dirty. The parking garages are so clean. They're so shiny. It's very There's impressed no by the <laughs> on the floor. It's actually no flavor at all. Mm. It's super chewy. Dang, girl. Oh, I'm so proud of you right now. I'm so proud to have moments. It might fight back a little bit. Okay. It is. You it is fighting back? My tongue is getting sucked in cups. Now I'm going to follow it. Mm -hmm. Ah, finally. <laughs> it's down. Yes! <laughs> At this we didn't realize that it was a scallop we thought when we bought it that it was another clam type of clam and then we ate it and realized yeah, yeah that's usually how it would be eaten in the states this is my favorite thing i've eaten here in korea fresh scallops So we just finished eating. How was it, Christine? We came back to a fish market, not the same one, but one closer to my parents' house. And uh, I think we liked this one better, actually. Yeah, I liked it because it was clearly like, it was like 10 minutes from uh, your parents' place. So it was really close by. Um, the dining area is really nice, and really clean. clean. Yeah. We were just saying how it's just so rare to get seafood that fresh. Um, and where you just everything just tastes so good if you're a seafood and 
Love her. And this time we just cut to the chase and got from last time we learned what was what was uh, good and what was we our wanted. favorites. Yeah. yeah. So we focused in on the clams, uh, the abalone, and the scallops. We just got back home full, but we just noticed that there's this food cart here that it's the first time that we saw that was here. And they sell these fried potato squid octopus. And we're actually going to try it with this place right here. kind of fried goodness. Good. Have a good living. It's hot. The inside is at least. Thumbs up. Oh, good. It's good. Uh, More seafood, fried shrimp. Oh, you're so good. Mm -hmm. I want to open one of these food cars <laughs> at home. The tempura is just so much better here in Korea. Yeah. The tempura batter. Light and crispy. Yeah. This thing has a, a cheese powder on it. It's a nice touch on the fried potato. Oh. These are these little things. This. Wow. What beautiful plate. It's gorgeous. Kamte. Kamte. What is this exactly? Kind of a chin. Uh, seaweed. Seaweed. So yeah, kind of seaweed. Five, six kind of I mushrooms. I don't know all the mushrooms names. Mushrooms. Yeah. Six different kinds of mushrooms. So and it's sweet. the mustard sauce. Because it's sweet and so good. Oh, look at this mushroom. Mm -hmm. This is like a mushroom foraging dream. Oh. Yeah. And then the sauce. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Like that. Oh, my gosh. Good. Yeah, it's yeah, so wasabi mm -hmm. flavored. It's so light. Mm -hmm. Some meats, spring onion, onions, this, a little bit of wasabi, and some of this sauce here. This maybe one of the red peppers. This might be a bad idea with the pepper, but okay. okay. All the flavors are fusing together. I love acorn squash. Okay, this is octopus with some different types of seaweed that you did to get this sauce right here. Seaweed? Is it good? I think so. It's a chili. Alright, so after all that food, we have this more. This is our shiksa. So, can I have the I love the radish yeah. rice. Mom, can I have the cookie? And the, it says the four seasons. Korean food that acknowledges or that embraces the four seasons.